it's time for Orchard CMS. Having a mechanism for your clients to interact with your content can be a two-edged sword. It can be beneficial and problematic. Today, we'll be utilizing Antoine Skifford's Orchard Core Discuss module to enable comments on content. Welcome back. There are many reasons why comments on your content can be productive. It gauges how well your content is received, it develops a relationship with your audience, and it gives your audience a platform to become part of the conversation. Creating a community around your content can be challenging. It can be outright brutal. You could be the most talented, entertaining, sweet soul on earth and still be confronted with negative comments. No one is immune. Anyone can warrant a negative response in these day and age of strong opinions and anonymous digital presence. Easier said than done, but ignore all mean-spirited feedback or feedback given in response to a misinterpretation. Steps to take in how to deal with negative comments also largely involve moving forward by accepting that the incident happened, sure it can hurt, but dwelling on the comment does absolutely nothing for you. Don't let one comment or one person prevent you from doing what you love or being yourself. It might take a while to learn how to deal with negative comments, but it's a part of life. As much as I'd like to wipe out all the negative comments of the world, think of them as tools to become stronger, grow a thicker skin, and learn from them. Okay, enough about negative comments. Now let's go ahead and go to discourse.com and what you'll need to do is sign up for their services. So they have a free tier that's ad supported but has all the discuss core features. Instead of starting out from scratch, let's go ahead and use a project from our previous video, the clean blog theme. So let's go ahead and start Visual Studio. And you can see here, there's two projects. There's the Orchard Core CMS, which is the main application. And then there's the clean blog theme. So let's go ahead and click on our solution and then right click. And let's go ahead and say, add existing project. And let's go ahead and load Antoine's discuss module. Click on open. Okay, great. We've added Antoine's discuss module. Let's click on a main project and then click on dependencies and then right click and say add reference and let's go ahead and add a reference to Antoine's discuss module. Hit OK. What we want to do is go into our recipe. So click on recipe and then click on clean blog recipe JSON. And now let's go ahead and add Antoine's discuss module. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit save. All right, let's go ahead and run the application. Click on the little green play triangle button. Okay, for the recipe, let's go ahead and select the clean blog. And let's select Orchard Skills for our site name. And then let's click on the blue finish setup button. Okay, so let's go ahead and log into the dashboard and select dashboard. Now let's go ahead and go to content, content definition, and content types. And let's go ahead and edit the blog post. Okay, then let's scroll down and add a part. And let's go ahead and select Discuss Part. Provides a Discuss Comment section for your content item. Click on Save. Now let's go into our Discuss Part and edit that. And for the short name, so you can see I'm logged in and, and you can see it here. It's an at sign short name here. Edit here and then hit save. And let's go ahead and hit save again. And now let's go back into our content items. Let's actually go to our blog and let's go ahead and edit this blog post entry. Down at the bottom, you'll see a, a checkbox. Make sure you check that for show comments and then hit publish. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set the base URL. So there we want to go into configuration, settings, general, and the base URL here. And for this instance, we want to do HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 5001. And then let's go ahead and save that. And that way, um, that'll make the URL 
absolute. So you'll need that Discuss Orchard Core module. So now let's go ahead and click on our site. Now let's go to our blog. And then let's scroll down and click on this blog post. And then scroll down. And there you go. There's our comment section. So we can go ahead and click on the heart. Or we can tweet from there or share. <clears throat> and we can sort by best, newest, oldest. And let's go ahead and enter a comment. This post was interesting. And let's go ahead and say post as Orchard Skills. And there we go. We ha now have comments on our blog posts. So let's recap. We showed how to create a Discuss free account on Discuss.com. We utilized the project from the Clean Blog theme from a previous video and added Antoine Gifford's Orchard Core Discuss module. We added the Discuss part to our blog post content type and set up the blog post content to show the Discuss comments. We also set the base URL in admin settings general to https colon slash slash localhost colon 5001 so that it would be absolute. We went to the actual blog post, scrolled down to the comment section, clicked on the heart icon, and then entered a comment. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.